Jailbreaking is one of the coolest things to come to iOS, but sadly not everything is fun in games. So for those of you that are still on the ropes trying to decide if jailbreaking is right for you, we already gave you a top five reasons of why you should jailbreak. But now I'm Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now, and I'll give you the top five reasons why you shouldn't jailbreak. Number five, sadly jailbreaking is not for everyone. Even though it's very easy to jailbreak any device, it still requires a little bit of tech knowledge. And aside from that, well, not everybody's out there to try to do their best with the iPhone. They just want to run the specific apps that they like, and they're really not after tweaking things. They're not annoyed by the fact that the settings are all stuck in one menu. They're not easily accessible, aside from other things. It sadly isn't something that everybody's out there for. And if you consider the average iPhone consumer, I'll tell you, it does make sense for not everybody to want to jailbreak. Number four, your iPhone is exposed to malware. And well, sideloading applications doesn't only allow you to sideload city apps, but it also allows you to sideload malware. And just think about this in particular. If you're worried about your phone being tracked or tapped, well, in the case of the iPhone, the only way you can actually do that is if you jailbreak the device first and then load the applications that will allow whichever private investigator or service to be after you. So sadly, jailbreaking does have this level of threat that you should consider. Number three, it complicates your user experience. For example, if you want to update to a newer version of iOS, well, you can't do it over the air anymore. You have to pretty much get rid of the jailbreak, then upgrade to the newer version of iOS, and then restore the device, and it just makes everything complicated. Aside from that, there are some applications that don't quite work with jailbreaking your device, like for example, Skype. You do get a message that your device is jailbroken, that you can't use Skype. You actually can use it, but we wonder if it's actually safe to use Skype if if your device is jailbroken and you still get that alert. Number two, well, jailbreaking apps are actually quite expensive if you look at them. The average application for iOS could cost you between one or two dollars. There are some games out there that'll cost you six dollars, seven dollars at most, but then you have IntelliScreen X that'll give you a three-day trial, which is cool, but the problem is um, it costs you 10 bucks. And if you consider the advantages of IntelliScreen X, sure, you can just consider not loading it to your phone, but then again, $10 for a simple tweak it's kind of expensive. And aside from that one, you'll get others that are quite expensive. And even though some people tell me that there are trials, well, there aren't trials for everything. So not everything is out there for you to try. And the top number one reason why you shouldn't jailbreak your iPhone is actually two things. Number one, you'll lose reliability. In the time ever since I've jailbroken my iPhone, it's pretty much crashed around 10 times, and you better get used to that. And the second is the fact that restoring an iPhone to factory settings can be a pain. That obviously depends on your mileage. In my case, I have a 64 gigabyte iPhone, and my connection in my country is pretty much five megabits to eight megabits down. So just think about this. 64 gigs, that's pretty much maxed to 60. And then I have to pretty much restore the factory settings, pretty much delete everything. And then either use iCloud or use my computer to restore 64 gigs of content. How long do you think that takes? It's actually a pain. So just consider that before jailbreaking. Definitely, your experience is not really going to be the best if you're out for reliability and the best iOS experience, even though some people will debate that. And the reason why I jailbroke is because I actually do debate that. That's it for this week's top five video on the reasons why not to jailbreak. Make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching. See you next week.